What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal walkthrough. Okay, so, here we are. Sprout Tower. I'm about to kick some butt right here, because, you know, it's the Sprout Tower and all that stuff, so, you know, you see, Sprout Tower, experience the way of the Pokemon. Yes. In our last episode, we got a tour of Violet City, and, you know, everything's cool now. Um, we got ourselves a cool Onyx, which we won't be using on our team or anything. Um... And right here, we're just going to be, you know, exploring Sprout, Sprout Tower to see what, what, what the big dealio is. Now, here is the Bell Sprout over 100 feet tall. People say that it became a center pillar here. Hmm. It's a monumental place that wiggles left and right. You see the pillar shaking? People are training upstairs. That's some pretty cool stuff right there. Look at that. It's just moving. The graphics are awesome. Sprout Tower was built long ago as a place for Pokemon training, which is cool. And only if you reach the top, you will obtain an HM. An HM, you say? Okay, well, we need that HM. I don't know what HM it is. I completely forgot about it. Now, a lot of these trainers, or all these trainers, they, they do use a Bell Sprout. So, if you came out with a Cyndaquil at first as your Pokemon, then, you know, you're fine. You're good. You're good to go. But if you came in here with, like, a, a Chikorita or a Totodile, good luck. Good luck with that stuff. So, here we have Sage Nico. Wanting to come out with his Bell Sprout, and uh, yeah, these Bell Sprouts are no slouches. They are in good levels. So right here, I'm going to be training my Pokemon more and more, like Teddy, with its strong attack. And uh, look at that, easy, easy pickings. Oh yes, I'm loving that. I'm going to continue on with Teddy right here until he has to tank on like a strong ass uh, Bell Sprout. We don't need that. And another level three, he could handle it physical attack man it's like something to die for oh yes more experience points you gotta love that and coming out with another bell sprout I'm gonna switch it up to cinder right here I have a feeling this Pokemon is a little stronger how strong is it not that strong oh wow I probably should have kept my uh, my teddy there Wow. Um, and I yeah I may have pressed the button a little too quickly and that really doesn't matter really doesn't matter right there Jesus Okay, so here we go. Ember attack. And another victory for us. Bye bye, Bell Sprout. Oh yes, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do some damage around here. So Sage Nico was defeated. I fought hard, but I'm too weak. Eh it is what it is, buddy. So he's like the flexible pillar protects the tower, even from earthquakes. I don't get that. I really don't. Okay, so moving on forward, you'll find a few items here, maybe one or two. And here we have the Paralyze Heal. Still haven't been paralyzed yet, which is a good thing. A very, very good thing. I'm not looking forward to that. I am famous to get, uh, of getting paralyzed. And here we have, we stand guard in this tower. Here we express our gratitude to honor all Pokemon. Okay. These guys like sound so mystic and with wisdom and all that stuff. And this guy's like his sage chow. He ain't no dog chow right here. Coming out with this bell sprout. Level three, so it might be a breeze. Maybe I, I can probably use Toxic Batman right here. Probably could. And uh, that's an easy win for Teddy. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Please do not be level three or higher or something. I don't know. Please don't be higher than my levels. He's like, come on, bro. Come on. Gotta love the animation right here. And uh, say goodbye to Bell Sprout. Oh yes. Yeah, Teddy's gonna go to level ten pretty quickly right here. Coming out with another Bell Sprout. Let's just let's let's just let's just beat this guy. He's like saying, "Come on, bro, bring it." Oh yeah. And there goes Bell Sprout. And say hello to Teddy's level ten. So all three of our Pokemon are at double digits finally. And Sage Chow is like, th th "Thank you." Uh, I don't know why you're thanking me, bro, but whatever. All living beings coexist through cooperation. We must always be thankful for this. I guess. I don't know. Okay, so if we go... Oh, yes, an item. And, uh, yes, we found ourselves an X accuracy. Very good item. Um, now, you can find some Pokemon right here. I believe at night you can find Raditas and Ghastly. So if you guys are looking for a ghost-type Pokemon, this is a good place to go to. I mean, at first, I was thinking, hey, I, maybe I should capture a ghost-type Pokemon. Maybe I should. But then I thought about it, and I was like, I already have a poison-type Pokemon with me, which is, you know, 
talk to Batman, so why have a ghost type Pokemon? There's other Pokemon out there that I can get. So I declined on getting a getting a, a Ghastly. That was one of my Pokemon that I wanted to use. You know, just for shits and giggles. So here we go. Ember attack. That Ember attack does me well. Look at that. Oh yeah, Cinder. Level 14. Oh yes. Still doesn't learn a new, another new move, but I'm, I'm glad it has its uh, its flame or its ember attack. So here we have another Bell Sprout. Hopefully for another win. This guy's like shaking his neck left and right, and I'm gonna just I'm just gonna breeze through this with an ember attack. Yeah. Bye bye. Say bye bye. Cinder's kicking some butt right now. Cinder doing the the job right here. He's coming out with another Bell Sprout. Let's go with Toxie Batman. I know it's a risk, because uh, I believe Bellsprout's a Poison-type Pokemon, too, so Bug-type moves don't actually work against this guy, so let's see what will happen. I'm probably going to waste a lot of leech lives. Ooh, took a lot. Took a lot. Okay, and that Vine Whip doesn't do much, because Toxic Batman's a flying-type Pokemon. Come on, boy. You can do this. I mean, girl. Oh wow! Please don't, don't, don't yell at me for the gender, the the genderizing thing. I am not here for that stuff. So here we go again with another leech life. Bye bye. Look at that. How easy it is, guys. How easy it is. Okay, so okay, I guess I can use my toxic Batman here. Not so much. And would you look at that? Cinder's evolving. I completely forgot that it actually evolves at level 14 instead of level 16. Wow, look at that. Cinder has evolved into Quilava. Mm-hmm, look at that, the mohawk and everything, that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and check this Pokemon out. Look at that, Cinder. Already evolved. He's like fire-type Pokemon, mohawk and everything. I wonder if it farts. Will it blow that fire at you? Is it really bad if it farts? I just wanna know, comment down below. And its stats right here is pretty even. Even out and everything. I guess its strongest, uh, uh, strongest stat right here is his special attack. It is a special attacker, which is good, very, very good. So let's go ahead and switch it back to Teddy right here. And uh, well, I don't. Oh yeah, we're at the final floor right here. Grab this, and we got ourselves a potion. Very good, very good. And there's nothing else right here. So this is like the final floor right here. And all these guys there, they're pretty good. I trained to find enlightenment in Pokemon. Okay, cue ball, let's do this. Let's do this. Get ready to catch these hands right here. And we got ourselves Sage Sin. Jin, I should say. Coming out with this Bell Sprout. And this Pokemon is at level 6, so we got a little stronger. Alrighty. Let's do this. Scratch attack. There we oh come on. Should have beaten him right there. Uh, no worries. Let's go again with another scratch attack. Oh yeah. Huh. There we go. Okay. Yeah, his, his, his training is incomplete. What does he have to say? As Pokemon grows stronger, so does a trainer. No, wait. As the trainer grows stronger, so do the Pokemon. It's, it's basically the same thing, buddy. Come on. You can't confuse that. So, here we have the Elder's HM Lights up even pitch... Pitch Black Darkness. So we could have probably used that for, you know, Dark Cave to try and capture Teddy Ursa, you know. No worries. It's okay. It is what it is. Here we have another Bell Sprout. Now it's a lone Bell Sprout right here, so it's gonna be strong. Let's go again with the scratch attack. Come on, Teddy. Do it for your Teddy Ursa bitches. And uh okay, we better attack this guy pretty quickly because we don't want we don't want to catch that one. And, uh, look at that. Alright, there we go, Teddy. There we go. <laughs> He's like, it, it is my head that is bright. Yeah, you are, you are a cue ball, bud. You are a cue ball. Okay, let's face this guy right here. He's like, let me see how much trust you have in your Pokemon. I have plenty of trust. Alrighty, so, here we have Troy. Sage Troy, and he's coming out with his Bell Sprout. Another bell sprout, pretty cool, huh? And here we go. 
Scratch attack yet again? Why not? And, uh, okay, that growth attack, we better be careful for that. Here we go. Scratch attack again. Critical hit. Pretty good stuff. Good stuff. And Teddy grows to level 11. Not bad. Not bad. It's physical attacks through the roof. And coming out with a hoot hoot. Mm, you know what? Let's just keep it right there. Teddy's going to just whoop butt everywhere. So here's the first time we're seeing a hoot hoot. Why don't we see him out in the wild? Unfortunately, it's not nighttime yet. That's the only time we'll be able to see that hoot hoot. And this guy's going with the foresight. Then to fight Titty, so Titty is gonna titty your ass. I'm just playing, guys. But it did defeat that hoot hoot pretty easily. Look at that. Yes, your trust is real. That's true, that's true. So he's like, it is not far to the elder. Okay, so it's not far. Let's go ahead and uh, switch it out. Let's go with Cinder right here. See what Cinder has to do. And we noticed something pretty big is going on right here. And whoa. You are indeed skilled as a Pokemon trainer. As promised, here is your HM. But let me say this. You should treat your Pokemon better. The way you battle is far too harsh. Pokemon are not tools of war. And he notices. He's like, hmm. He claims to be an elder, but he's weak. It stands to reason. I never lose to fools who babble about being nice to Pokemon. I only care about strong Pokemon that can win. I really couldn't care less about weak Pokemon. And he uses the escape rope. Flipping you off, buddy! Flipping you off! Okay. And, wow. Really, Joey? Really? Okay, so he's like, how you doing? This is Joey, got a minute. How are your Pokemon doing? Yada, yada, yada. Do not care, Joey. I do not care. You beat well, PG. Whatever. Call me when it's important. Joey, you are annoying. I'm gonna get that item before I talk to that guy right here. And it is, it's an escape rope. Okay. Alright. Good stuff. Good stuff. Alright. And there's nothing else right here. Okay. So let's talk to this guy right here. And before we can even do that, we're battling a Pokemon. And like I said, it's a Rattata. Gotta love those Rattatas. And yes, off screen, I did capture one, so I don't need one right here. Okay. So let's talk to this guy. And he's like, so good of you to come here. Sprout Tower is a place of training. People and Pokemon test their bonds to build a brighter future together. I am the final test. Allow me to check the ties between you and your Pokemon. I just paraphrase. Whatever. So here it is, guys. The final battle in the Sprout Tower. And it's up against Sage Lee. Or Lai. Or whatever. And he's coming out with his Bellsprout. He's like, come at me, bro. Level 7 Bellsprout. Okay. Here's my Cinder. Cinder. Do your thing, you know, that ember attack. Sounds pretty cool in, in Generation 2. It really does. Look at that. Defeated you. And more experience points for the victor right here. And he's coming out with his hoo hoo. Okay, let's, uh. You know what? Let's screw around right now. Let's go to Toxie Batman. Let's do this. Level 10 hoo hoo. Okay. Toxie Batman. You better do something about this. Let's go with that Super Sonic right here. Okay good confusion and come on hurt yourself you gotta hurt yourself bud and it doesn't hurt itself why do not you why why you not hurt yourself why okay so leech life and that doesn't do a lot okay so oh wow oh wow well it was fun while it lasted but I gotta switch it out that who who is not going down without a fight, and uh, that growl attack will not do anything to us. So here we go, scratch attack, and uh, ugh. okay, so that that lowers our attack, not by a lot, but a good amount. You know, we could have beaten him right here, but no, that wasn't the case right there. So let's go ahead and switch it out yet again, or let's go ahead and do that scratch attack. Scratch attack does that win, and uh, well, there we go. Good experience points, and one more Pokemon. So let's go back to Cinder right here to finish this guy off. And he's still saying, come at me, bro. Just come at me. So, Cinder, let's get this. Alrighty, okay. Oh, yeah. Cinder does its job. 
kicking some butt, taking some names. That is right, look at that. He's like, ah, excellent. Okay, I am excellent. He's like, you and your Pokemon should have no problem using this move. Take this Flash HM. So we got ourselves our first HM, and that is HM05, Flash. Flash illuminates even the darkest of all places. But to use it out of a battle, you need to use, you need the badge from the Violet City Gym. Okay, so we need to beat that guy. Okay, so I guess I'm pretty sure that's uh, the next thing we need to do. And he's like, I hope you learn and grow from your po uh, from your journey. I will, I will, because uh, this is only the beginning right here. So I'm gonna use that item that we we just got, that escape rope. Gotta get the heck out of here. And the fresh air, everything it feels good. So stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be going in there and we will be handling business for our very first gym battle. So, yeah, stay tuned, guys. I'll be right back for another episode.